Hey friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Kaylee, and this is Foodie Friday. So this week, I decided to share one of my new favorite slow cooked recipes, and that is stuffed pepper soup. This is such a simple dish that you can throw together, leave in your crock pot, and forget about for the rest of the day. It creates a very hearty, delicious soup, almost more along the lines of a stew, just because it's so filling. So I'm really excited about this recipe. You guys know I'm a new mom. I need simple when it comes to dinners. I don't really have time to cook that much just because Bennett is, you know, still a newborn. I'm still learning and adjusting to motherhood. So I need meals that are quick, simple, and healthy. And that's what this recipe delivers. So with no further rambling, I know I usually ramble at the beginning of these videos. Let's go ahead and get to this recipe. All right, friends, for this recipe, we're just using a few very simple ingredients. The first ingredient that we're going to be using is one pound of ground sirloin. We're also going to be using one pound of hot or mild sausage. You're also allowed, if you would like, to make this a little leaner to use ground turkey, but the ground sausage really adds a lot of flavor that's key in this recipe. The next thing we're going to be using is one 32 ounce thing of beef broth. Then we use one cup of cooked brown rice or jasmine rice. Unfortunately, I didn't have brown rice for this recipe, so I had to use jasmine. We then will be using one 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, onions, and garlic. And then we're also going to be using a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Then for our fresh vegetables in this recipe, we're going to be using one medium onion and you're going to chop this up. You can leave this as chunky or as finely chopped as possible, but I like chunkier onions in my stew. Then we're going to be using one large green bell pepper and then one um, red bell pepper. I usually use a small to medium one. Next, we're going to take a large skillet and heat it over medium high heat. And in this skillet, we're going to add our one pound of ground sirloin and our one pound of ground um, sausage. We're going to brown this um, before we add everything to our crock pot. So just add in your sausage and your ground beef and mix them together while they cook until browned. In the same skillet that you browned your meat, you're going to add in your chopped veggies. So the chopped onion, chopped green bell pepper, and chopped red bell pepper. You'll just add this in. And like I said, you can chop these as chunky or as finely as you would like, but I would suggest chopping these more on the chunky side just because you are going to saute these before cooking them in your crock pot. But saute your veggies with just about a tablespoon of olive oil um, until they are starting to soften. Allow them to still be kind of firm, though. You don't want them to become too soft um, before you add them to your crock pot but we're going to saute these and we'll sprinkle with just a little bit of salt and pepper i'm using about a half teaspoon of each um, before you add this to your crock pot next is my favorite part because basically you can dump everything um, into your slow cooker and forget about it for the rest of the day and you guys know i love uh, just a simple dinner and this is extremely simple so basically what you're going to do is take your ground meat that you cooked add that to the bottom of your slow cooker toss um, those veggies that you just finished sauteing on top and then you'll dump all the rest of the ingredients into your slow cooker so the can of diced tomatoes the tomato sauce the beef broth the jasmine rice you will just add all that in and I would like to make a side note the jasmine rice is really great in this recipe but I prefer brown rice just because brown rice is a firmer rice and so it won't break down as easily as jasmine so I would highly recommend using brown rice in this recipe um, just so that way it doesn't cook too much and you get like an overcooked rice but basically throw everything into your crock pot add the lid and then you can cook this on high for four hours or if you want to slow cook it you can cook it for six to eight hours on low one very important thing that I forgot to note is the spices that you'll need to add in. So you'll just throw in one bay leaf, one half teaspoon of dried oregano, and one half teaspoon of dried basil to this and just stir everything together, throw on your lid and cook for four to six hours. All right, friends.
friends. That recipe was so simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a recipe. If you are a new subscriber and new to the Measure Me Whole community, I would love to get to know you. So be sure to leave a comment below so I can say hi. As always, I look forward to getting together next week where we cook another nutritious and delicious dish. All right, you guys, see you next time. Thank you.